13 weather forecast. Well, I'll tell you what, folks, it has been quite a while since I've been able to fit dry weather, sunshine, and mild temperatures all in the same sentence to describe a weekend. Uh, specifically speaking, the last time we saw a totally quiet weekend was back on March 25th and March 26th. So this is long overdue. And I tell you what, go ahead and make some outdoor plans because this weekend, can't really ask for any better weather. We'll have high pressure off to the southwest. That's going to give way to lots of sunshine both tomorrow and to Sunday as well. Secondly, those temperatures are going to feel very nice out there. Tomorrow, we're going to be right around average at around 73 degrees. By Sunday, we'll be into the upper 70s and really not a whole lot of wind to deal with. So like I said, uh, you'll have plenty of opportunity to maybe catch up on some of that yard work, plant some flowers, and uh, mow your lawn as well. Just going to be a very nice weekend. That said, it's Friday. We want to stay happy, so let's keep the good news doing or going. Rather, I'm going to do exactly that for you. Let's go ahead and take a peek at the end of May, even into the start of June. This is our 8 to 14 day temperature outlook. And notice across the north central half of the country, we have a lot of reds, oranges, deep reds showing up, indicating good chances of above average temperatures. And I tell you, going into next week, looking at a good stretch of 80 so it looks like the warm weather is finally here to stay and uh, we aren't tracking any significantly cool weather and i think that's going to be the case here for quite a while this afternoon on visible satellite we're still dealing with some cloud cover that's rolling across the area this is in response to an upper trough that is now pivoting through the state and that, coupled with northwesterly breezes, has kept us on the cool side this afternoon. In our northern area's widespread 50s were at 55 in Ladysmith, or Rice Lake rather, 56 in Chetek, 52 degrees in Ladysmith, cooler there. 57 currently in Chippewa Falls, right here in Eau Claire. Near that 60 degree mark, that's the same case in Augusta, 61 right now in Black River Falls, 59 from Burns and Esparta, mid 50s in Viroqua. Right now we're at 61 degrees in La Crosse. Satellite radar showing that cloud deck right here, but notice across the Great Plains, it's completely clear, lots of sunshine. That's thanks to a large area of high pressure that's going to stay situated uh, to our west and also to the south going into tomorrow. So that's going to result in clear skies later tonight, but that coupled with light winds and drier air is going to set us up for a chilly start to our Saturday morning. We're looking at widespread lows from the low to mid 40s and I do think some of our low-lying areas likely to dip into the upper 30s and that's when we'll start to flirt with some of that patchy frost potential so if you live in Black River Falls, Toma, even in the parts of Taylor County might be wise to cover those plants or bring them inside tonight just as a precaution that way uh, those don't die on you. For tomorrow lots of sunshine skycast portraying that nicely here well, mainly clear skies into tomorrow night. Sunday, as you just saw, much of the same. More of that sunshine and some warmer temperatures as well. Highs for tomorrow going to be on the mild side from the low to mid-70s. By Monday, we'll warm it back up to around 78 degrees. And that is about as quiet of a forecast as I can get for you. Lots of sunshine. And by Tuesday, we're into the 80s. That trend going to continue through the end of the week. So get out there and enjoy it, folks. The return of the 80s, about time. Yes, and <laughs> we finally have a stretch. It's not just one day yeah, and exactly. cooling off. Not so. just Monday, like yes. we've been seeing. <laughs> we, we certainly deserve this, yes. that's for sure. All right, thanks, Derek. Mm -hmm.